So in this lesson, we're going to um, see if we can make our hands be able to uh, close. Therefore, when we pick up something, it's going to look more realistic if we can pinch them and make them move. So um, I'm going to have a um, file for you to download to get the hands. So um, you'll just click on that link and download them. And as I recall, I just dragged my hands up. So once I had them, let me move these a little bit apart. I just went and dragged it up. I think it was this up to that one. And when you click on the download it I think it's actually gonna let you open it in unity and it'll put it right inside the uh, um, in your assets and you can just drag it and then we're going to um, and when when you drag it up it's going to create this and then that so when you drag it up it will create um, another option here for you to uh, so when you drag it up it'll come right there and then we're going to need to um, add some stuff to this so first of all I resized them so when you drag this left hand up it's going to go there and when you drag it up there or when you put it on one of these either one if you drag it up it's going to create a um, option down there and I resized mine to uh, um, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. You can leave them one if you want. They're, they're pretty big. And then this one, just like the one we had before, I made it negative 0.5. So that way it, it's a left hand and it turns around looks like a right hand. <clears throat> okay. So um, then you're going to need to have a script. So let me bring the script up. And notice you're going to have to add this. Um, to the uh, um, uh, uh, basic uh, commands because we're going to be using the Unity input system. So you're going to have to add this top line. And my script was called Animate Hands. You can call yours whatever you want. So make sure that this name matches the name in your game. And then you, we're going to have some variables. Um, so you're going to be typing both of these. You can rename these if you want to. So these are our variables before void start. Nothing in void start. And then we're down here calling these variables um, in our game. So there's the variables. And then nothing in void start. And then in void update, we have these um, um, variables. So we're using our variables and giving them action. So we're actually just causing a trigger to pinch and to grip so two different uh, commands so make sure you type the script up and then I believe the script goes oh no models yeah so the script is going to go on the left hand model that you've dragged up and put inside here and then on the right hand model so there's going to be your script right there so you can drag it up there or you can click on it and add the component once you type it once you've done that you're going to need to um, add some stuff inside here so you're going to get need to get the left hand interaction activate value so you're going to go here and you can make these small by dragging this over and then finding it or you can just start typing it up here so left hand interact interaction activate value um, either drag this thing over here so you can see them or type it in see it that's what we need on that one and then this one um, 
the left hand interaction select value. So again, you can type it in, or you can just you know look down here and come to it. Um, so we need both of those. And I can't remember if I dragged this one in or not. You may have to drag it over here. Well, I think it was already there, but you can see it. And then, of course, for the right hand, the exact opposite. The right hand, when you put that script on there, you're going to have the right hand uh, interaction activate value right there. Type it in if you want. And then the right hand um, interaction select value. Same as the, the left ones. Again, type them in or just make it small and find it. And I don't think I had to drag this in, but it did. Now, we have the previous version of the uh, hands inside there, so I had to get rid of those. Otherwise, it looked like there was two hands. So all I did was just go to my left-hand controller and make this none. I got rid of the ones we brought in before. Right-hand controller and made it none also. So get rid of both of those. And then when you're done, you should be able to hold the shift and push your left mouse, or I think it's also G. Hold space, G, or left mouse. I haven't tried it with the headset, but I think it's the trigger, the inside trigger when we do it, but we'll try that. And then make sure you save a scene. So file save as. Oh, the other thing I did is um, I dragged a color. For some reason, my colors all went like uh, white. So I created a new color, my blue, and I dragged. It. I just dragged it onto my hands. I got it went white. So you can create any color you want and drag them on your hands when you're done there. And again, I resized mine. So if you want, make them 0.5. And remember, the right hand's negative 0.5. And we get that done. Let me know if you have any problems.